What was that? Looked a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? No, they're not. Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What? What's wrong with her? Um, I think that's quite obvious, isn't it? Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crowns must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Yeah. Maybe Johnny. Yeah, Ooh. little Johnny might help. A boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. So, I'm first gonna do a quick looting. And then after the looting, let's go find Johnny. And when we arrive to Johnny's cave, we see that he's uh, assaulted by a drowner and a, a water hack. Two drowners, actually. And there goes, well, half of the drowner. Hello, Johnny. 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 Where is the little guy? Right here. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. So, let's hope he is. So, he stepped out clearly. There's something else nearby. I'm guessing a bear by the sounds of it. Oh, there he is, okay. Johnny, wake up. Who? Uh, who? Uh, oh, Witcher! You frightened me. I thought it were those vile hags. Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Huh. Why did they want to punish you? Getting the crone's bad side? I told them off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. What would have been the doldrums out here without them? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran. But they were angry she'd let the children escape. So... Can you help us, Johnny? So you saw what happened to Gran. By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. I went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. I barely had time to blink before the crones tottered in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair, called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor, went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. So why did the weavers need the hair? Why'd the weavers need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. That's where they would have taken the children if they were uh, not freed by the spirit. Take a look under the door. Oh, I look like a fool to you. No, 
You do look like the inquisitive type, though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. Okay, what happened next? Stay in the chest until the crones left. Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not a peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged him to spare Gran. Bluess piped up first. Naughty boy. Oh, naughty. Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes. Then the Wispess says, Run, boy, run before your legs rot off. They all laughed, and I legged it. So, okay. You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do. But I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide. And I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? Well, trying to help Anna. There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Farewell, Johnny. So, let's head back to the orphanage and try to fix this mess. So I ignored a few drowners, didn't think they were happy with me. But hey, let's talk to the guys over here. Because we might have a way to fix this. Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother. Took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house. So the door is hidden. In that case, with no time to lose, come. Huh. Let's go Let then. Go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. So let's find that cellar door again with this lovely painting. Witcher is not quite the devils you told. Okay. So there's a few things to loot in here as well. So I might as well. But the cellar door is over here on the right, I think. Yeah, over there. But again, don't forget to loot everything in here. Got it. And down we go. So this place kind of has the indication that there uh, would be child characters if we didn't save the children. So, we find, however, a small altar below the, well, the weaving. By the eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. So how do you know all this? Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the Hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. 
<laughs> so, you mentioned a risk. This risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at these dolls. So we've got four, I think. So we got one with a red bead. Hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Wengerberg. This cannot be the one. Okay, then. I'll look at the others. Hmm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. And I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. That might seem obvious. What if it's a ruse, and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? I'm not taking that risk, so let's take a look at Doubtful. the others. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. So, the violet holy lock, holy hook bloom. Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet holy hook. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. And you believe this to be the doll? Yes, because it is, so let's take it. I'm sure it is. Taking it. So taking the wrong doll would have the effect... Quick, outside! ...of uh, Anna bursting into flames. And since we took the right one... We have a little bit of a different outcome. Mum, you're back. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy, I'm dying. She's not well, raving. Doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No, listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. Well, what's she talking about, Witcher? Nothing we can do to help her. But we. No! That's impossible! Dear daughter. Philip, it's good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother. Tammy, do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress, so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please, remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. So a bit of a more tragic Leave ending. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. And the Baron leaves us as well. So I'm gonna go over the differences really quickly. If you choose to kill the spirit, you have to fight it with a few of those Andregas, those spider-like beings, and uh, then you kill that spirit. The crones will be a lot more pleased than they were when we returned now, since they were uh, a bit angry at us and a few other characters. 
The differences after that are quite significant actually. The village down Warren will not be attacked because the spirit is dead. Uh, and after that, the uh, Anna will not have been cursed, but just be fine after we kill the fiend. But she will still have lost her mind, while now she uh, was quite lucid in the end. Uh, it ends with the Baron and Tamara bringing her to a wise man up in the Blue Mountains. And that's the end of the story. But now we still have to return to Kraut's Perch. Perch. Crow's Perch. Sorry. Crow's Perch. So, here we go. So, a lovely day at Crow's Perch. I'm gonna mount Roach. And then we'll go see the Baron to get our payment and finish off the return to Crookback Bog quest. Arriving back at the stables, we find a lot of people in distress, really panicking because the Baron has ended his own life. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Can you help him? Himself? Or did you boys help him? Fuck you take me for? A murderer? Yeah, kind of. He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. True that. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier. But settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. A bit more aggressive, I reckon. So, a hundred crowns for our uh, trouble. And the end of Return to Crookback Bog. And the entire Bloody Baron storyline. So. Uh, if the Baron leaves with his wife in the other ending, the sergeant will still take over, so nothing really changes that. So, on that sad note, we'll end the episode. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. And I thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye.